The only thing we we'll hope is that the 24th of November, when the Minister of Finance goes to Parliament, you know, you make an announcement about e-levy that might help us recover. The way we have structured uh, e-levy is very regressive. It impacts the poor as high as impacts the, the, the rich. So if you really want people to be able to pay this, then they should not think about it when they are, when they are paying it. The only way to be able to do that, and there's empirical evidence to show in other areas, if you take the Tanzania example and all of that, is to reduce you know, the, the incidence of the tax per capita. So if you reduce that to like 1.1%, uh, it's one for me, that's one of the things I've been pushing for. What will happen is that people will not feel it. Let's still stay with the chamber as the executive officer of the telcos, that is Ken Ashby, says the heavy tax burden on the telecommunication industry is taking a huge toll on their businesses. According to him, government is likely to experience a drop in the amount of corporate income tax it gets from the industry if there's no intervention. The whole principle of taxation of the digital financial system, it should be a taxation of the industry, not the platforms. The industry should not be seen as a cash cow. That has to be milled. You know, we need to look at it more as the workhorse that is pulling other industries up. When you look at the number of uh, the, the CIT that was paid, corporate income taxes that was paid at the end of the year, it is likely to go down in 2022 again.